We're now going to take a look at how to insert an image into your web pages. And I have the specials page open, specials.html. And this is a page that had some styles attached to it, which is what's causing the different coloring schemes on our page. I also have the assets panel showing, and I've selected the images category up in the upper left. Anytime you see a little tree icon in Dreamweaver, that always means it's representing images. So if you click on the tree, you'll get to the images area. So how do I go about inserting an image onto a web page using Dreamweaver? Well, there are certainly multiple methods for doing this. There's actually six of them, six different ones. So I'll start with the assets panel itself first. And what I can do is I'm going to choose Charles River Boat, this image from the images folder, but I don't really even have to worry about what folder it's located in when I use the assets panel. I can also view the image before I insert it into the page to make sure I have the correct one. So to insert an image using the assets panel, you can simply click on the picture of the image and drag it onto your page. When you do that, you're going to get this alternate text message or dialog box popping up. This is what a screen reader would read as a description of the image if we had a user who could not view the image. Specifically, they had some kind of a handicap where they can't use their eyes and see the image. So I'm going to say this is the Charles River Bridge in Prague. There we go. Or not. My image didn't quite end up in the right spot, but I don't have to be concerned. I want to show you, you can click and drag in Dreamweaver Design View. You can also click and drag in Code View. So what I'm going to do is this image didn't end up in the right spot. Let me close up the properties area so you can see. It ended up down below too far. What I can do is just click on the image and drag it up where I want it. Very simple. So that's a really nice feature of the Dreamweaver design view and also code view. Now I may want this to be up at the top of the page and have travel specials listed below it. If so, I just put my cursor in front of travel specials and hit enter or return and it drops my code down. If I wanted to move it a little bit different and put it alongside my image, what I would want to do is create some CSS styles to do that. And I'm not going to address that quite yet. Now the other thing I want to do is add another image down in this area of the page. And what we're going to do is use a slightly different method for the assets panel. What I'm going to do is this visit the down under with us. I actually have a picture of an, a boat, basically. It's actually an outrigger. And it's not exactly from Sydney, but I can use it for now and always replace it later. Otherwise, I do have prog listed here. So I have a prog clock I can put in there. So you may not have the exact images you need when you go to create your web pages. And if that's the case, you have a couple of things you can do. You can use what's known as an image placeholder or just pop another image in there for now. And when you get the correct one, you can just replace it. So what I'm going to do is use another method of the assets panel. And that is I can click on the icon in front of the image name so click on it and drag it out, and I'll put that right here next to Visit Prague. And this is going to be the Prague clock in Old Town. Now this image is quite a bit bigger, so I have to decide what I want to do with this one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my cursor in front of this text, hit Enter or Return, and yes, I have some white space here, but there is my visit prog, and this is one of the clocks 
in the Old Town area that Prague is known for. So I'll put it right above where I discuss Prague. I can always come in here and modify my text later to align right alongside this image. But I'll save that for later. That is the second method for inserting an image within my web page. Now, down at the bottom of this page, it might be nice to add an image. And this is a good example of trying to figure out what image I might want to place in there right now. And so I can look at the width of my images. And let's see, I'm kind of in the same situation here. Oh, I have this Vegas panorama image. And it's fairly wide. Why don't I put that at the bottom of this page? So what I can do is, so far, we've clicked on the image and dragged it out. We've clicked on the icon and dragged it out. What I'm going to do now is make a space at the bottom of the page by hitting Return or Enter. My cursor is exactly where I want the image. I can simply select the image and click Insert. This is a nice method if it's difficult to get your cursor into the location where you want to insert an image. That isn't exactly my problem here, but there are many times where it's hard to get your cursor where you need it, and by the time you do, you don't want to click off of it and then try and drag and get that same location again. So what I tend to do is use this method at those times. So I select the name of the image I want, I click Insert, and notice it's going to be another alt text. You should always add alt text to images that are important on your website. So this is going to say Las Vegas Panorama. And there's my image. So let's take a look at our page. I'll go out and take a look at it in the browser. We'll do a save. And I will pop this into Internet Explorer and take a look. And there's my page. Now my page is very wide at the moment. As you can see, we don't have anything containing any content. But there is my page with my images showing up. Now it is possible to upload your files to the web server at the very end and all of a sudden your images are not showing. And the reason for that could be a couple of things. First of all, you may have some uh, characters that shouldn't be in there, such as a space in the names of your images. That can sometimes prevent the images from being uploaded to the web server. Notice all of mine do not have spaces in them. The other issue you can have is if the path to the image isn't quite correct, you upload it and it may not show up on your page. So it's important to make sure that even though it's working here on my local machine, once I get these pages up on the web server, I want to make sure the images are showing once I get them there and correct any issues that could occur at that point. But those are three methods for inserting an image using the Assets panel. The first one is the picture of the image or the preview of it in the Assets panel and drag it out. The other is click on the icon in front of the name of the image, image and drag it out. Or you can always select the image, place your cursor, and click the Insert button to insert an image onto the page. So those are three ways to add an image using the Assets panel.